Hello there and welcome back to our course on Project 2019. In this section we're going to look at milestones and milestones are used to denote significant points or events in a project. Usually milestones have a zero duration but Project 2019 does allow milestones with non-zero durations as well. Now milestones are used for a number of different reasons and amongst the most important ones uh, are as a way of providing a management snapshot of progress on a project. So there is, for example, a particular report called a milestone report where you can just view the key milestones in the project and get a summary of where you are in terms of those milestones, which in turn gives you a good idea of general progress on the project. They can also be used to show you what's coming up next, what's happening, say, over the next week or so. And very often, milestones are associated with a payment schedule of some sort. So, for example, when a particular point is reached in a project, there may be a payment to make. Now, what I'm going to do with the wedding project is to take some of the existing tasks and turn them into milestones. And I may well introduce one or two new milestones along the way. Before I start, note what I've done with the project at this stage, because it looks a little bit different to when we last saw it in the previous section. Now, this is version three of the project, and I've collapsed up all of those summary tasks. As you can see down here from task six to 43, they're now all collapsed and we cannot see the subtasks. So for instance, there is a dependency between a task in wedding day and the setting of the wedding date. But because wedding day is collapsed, you can't see that link. If I expand wedding day again, it's now visible. So just really to emphasize the point that when you're looking at a project with some summary tasks collapsed, you need to be careful at what you're interpreting because some elements of the project may have become invisible even though they're actually quite significant. Now, one of the very important aspects of milestones is that generally speaking, although I should say there are exceptions, but generally speaking, because a milestone is a task of zero duration, it is assumed that there is little or no work associated with the milestone itself. So if I take task four here, for example, set wedding date, if that doesn't actually involve any significant amount of work, I could make it into a milestone. But what I'm actually going to do on this occasion is to insert specifically a milestone which indicates when the task has been completed. So I'm going to select the task below it, which is basically a blank row. And then on the task tab in the insert group, I'm going to say insert task. Now that task I'm going to rename to wedding date set and click the tick. So that's basically a statement that something has happened. It isn't something to do itself. And then in the duration, I'm going to change it to zero days, which will make it into a milestone. And the default notation, if you look at the Gantt chart, you'll see you get a little diamond icon, and we also have a date in there. So now I'm going to select set wedding date, and I'm going to link these tasks in the same way. So now I have my first milestone in my project. Now I'm going to set milestones that indicate when the venues have been booked, the venue for the wedding and the venue for the reception. So let's start with the reception venue. So I want something to indicate that task 21 has been completed. So I can do the same that I did just now, insert task. But there's also an option within the insert group on the task tab of insert milestone. So let's try that one instead. I'm going to just highlight task 22 because we want the new task to go in above. I'm going to go to the insert group and select milestone this time. And you can see automatically it's given me a task with the duration of zero days. Let's change the name. So we'll say reception venue booked. Let's just link these two tasks together. We should be getting used to doing this by now. And I'm going to do exactly the same down here for wedding venue. So let's go in, highlight the one below, put in a milestone, 
and we'll call this wedding venue booked. And we will link these two tasks together. And then I've got just a very few other milestones to add. I'm going to add one to indicate that all of the attire has been ordered, one to indicate that the guest list has been finalized, and finally that the wedding is registered and licensed. So I've added a few other milestones in. So I've added another one to check that make, to make sure that all attire has been ordered, one to indicate that the guest list has been finalized, and finally, one to indicate that the wedding has been registered and licensed. And then I have just one more thing to do, and that is that I'm going to turn the wedding date itself into a milestone. So I'm going to select wedding day, double click. Now I don't want to reduce its duration to zero days because there will be other things to do on the wedding day itself. So I'm going to jump onto the advanced tab and I'm going to check this little checkbox down in the corner, mark task as milestone and click on OK. So that task is now marked as a milestone, but as you can see, its duration is still one day. So there we are. We have some milestones in our project. I'm going to take a look at those in just a moment. Before we do, I don't actually need this timeline that's showing at the top here. And as this project is beginning to take up more and more space, let's save a little bit of space by hiding the timeline. Now, can you remember back on how to do that? We go to the View tab and you can just switch off Timeline at the top there. If you only want to see the milestones, you can use one of the features of the View tab, which is to use a filter. And in the data group of the view tab, there is a filter control just here with a drop down. And one of the options in that drop down is milestones. So if I select that, you're only going to see those project milestones. So that gives you an idea of how useful milestones can be in terms of setting out the key points in the project over the course of its duration. Now, one other point that's clear here is that we still have a lot of work to do on this project because, for instance, we still haven't worked out when the wedding day is going to be. It's still right near the beginning of the project. Now, you might be a little frustrated by this and thinking, well, why don't we sort out that wedding date? Well, the reason that we don't is that we still have some very key factors to take into account before we can work out what the wedding date can be. And we're going to be moving on to those factors after we've done exercise three. Once we've done those, we'll be in a much better position to actually pin down a wedding day. And then we'll see how useful these milestones can be in terms of giving us a realistic summary of the key points in the project. Now, if you applied the filter as I have here, I can unapply it by clicking on the drop down and selecting no filter. So that's the end of this section. Exercise three is in the next one, so please join me for that. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. Now to get a free Microsoft Project 2019 course, including downloadable exercise files, go ahead and click right over there. And click right over there to watch all the videos in this Project 2019 Beginners Playlist.